Hello and welcome back to Crazy Rob Studio. In this video, we will be talking about the Networker Block Based Backups. <laughs> Networker Block Based Backups are high performance backups which are supported on Windows and Linux only. It has been supported in Windows from a while now, but I think the Linux support is from around 19.2 onwards only. Unlike a normal backup, during a block based backup, the backup application scans a volume or a disk in the file system and backs up all the blocks that are in use in the file system. As you see in the screen here, a particular disk or volume contains certain files, a certain number of files basically, and all this will be located in the disk. So if you have looked at uh, or done a disk fragmenting before you might have seen that the data does not always sit together in one place they are always scattered around the disks so if in case you consider the table that I have here in the slide as the disk layout then the files will be distributed in different locations on the disk so each block can be considered to be a block on the disk and if you can see here they are all scattered all around the disk so the block based backup uses CBT or change block tracking to keep a track of changed blocks. Thus, during a subsequent incremental backup, only the changes to the blocks are considered and backed up. So in the example here, you will see that adding another couple of files might change or add a few other blocks. When this, when the incremental backup takes place, only these changed blocks are taken over and stored on the data domain. So for the block based backup to work, there are only a few supported devices, the ones which are listed here. AFTD is supported, but you need to enable client direct on the AFTD device for the block based backups to work. So when we say client direct, it means that you have to mention or specify a path in the AFTD which is a network path and can be accessed by the client. Data domain devices are also supported as well as cloud boost devices. Now that we have checked the capabilities in the supported file systems, let's go ahead and look at what block based backup in networker does not support. It does not support FAT32 file system as mentioned a, a few minutes earlier. It does not support FAT32 file system. If in case your system has a uh, FAT32 volume or a disk configured and you, are t you want to use all as the save set, then that particular mount point or file system needs to be unmounted before you run a full backup or any block based backup, any level. Uh, it supports level, it does not support levels 1 through 9. Backup of Windows 2012 cluster without cluster shared volumes. Incremental backups of clustered shared volumes is not supported. Cloning of AFTD incremental backups is not supported. Granular save sets at either the folder level or the file level is not supported. Meaning if you have a particular folder in your D drive, then you cannot back up that particular folder. You have to back up the entire D drive for a block based backup. Checkpoint restart is not supported. Directives are not supported. You cannot run a scanner command to uh, create the indexes. You cannot run staging or NSR clone with one with a minus M, which is basically migrating your device or uh, the save set from one device to another as well as image recovery to a system volume is not supported. There are many more in this list. So I would recommend you to go check the uh, network administrator's guide for more details. So after listening to all this explanation, you might have a question as to when do I actually use block based backup? then my answer would be that use this option when you have a very dense file system like on a file share server or anything similar. Dense file system is more of having millions and uh, 
millions of small files that usually take a very long back a very long time to parse during a normal file system backup block based backup does not look at the file but rather the disk so the backup time is much more shorter as an example here you can see that i have a block based backup that i have done of a windows system it's only 30, 13 gigs and if you took at the look at the time that it took for the block based backup to run it was around 5 minutes uh, the same server the a little later the size has increased by 18 gigs but the time taken here if you look at this it is around 14 minutes for 18 gb it's just 5 gb difference between the two but yes the difference is there so uh, it is recommended that if you have a very dense file system then you go ahead with a block based backup or otherwise you just stick with the normal file system backup so all this again will depend on the rto and rpos that you have for the respective backup thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video Goodbye.